Hi, it's Ed Kramer, and welcome to my CGI History Channel. We've been looking at clips from a show I co-curated for the New York SIGGRAPH chapter in 1986, and today we finished the submission from Cranston Surrey Productions of Columbus, Ohio. You can see they had one of the most advanced rendering systems around in 1986, including reflection mapping and uh, calculating how light bends or refracts through glass objects. According to uh, Terence Masson's book, CG 101, which I reference a lot, uh, CCP was totally booked and had to reluctantly turn down work for ABC Sports Olympic coverage in 1984. So uh, Jim Kristoff, the president, suggested that ABC use a new company out on the West Coast called Pacific Data Images. And uh, that relationship then ended up lasting for many years. So a lot of CGI pioneers continued after CCP shut their doors in 1987. Uh, some founded other companies like Metrolite and Resonate. Uh, others went on to work for companies like Silicon Graphics, Pacific Data Images, and Blue Sky. And some went on to work at Industrial Light and Magic, including my old ILM workmates, Jeff Light, Tom Hutchinson, and Andy White. John Burton went on to become visual effects supervisor for The Mummy, The Mummy Returns, Men in Black, and Men in Black 2. Next week, a new submission from the New York SIGGRAPH Reel. See you then.